Hi guys, I am here with a roadmap for machine learning. Among many paths that one can follow, this roadmap will describe the minimum things that a beginner needs to do to make a project in machine learning domain. This roadmap has been mainly prepared by my friend Nanesh, who is the head of the machine learning division at Cyber Labs. So let's get started. To start with, you need to have a basic understanding of what is machine learning and some basic algorithms like linear regression, logistic regression and the basic idea of what is neural networks and how do they work. So these all are covered in this course on Coursera which is actually paid but you can avail it for free by using financial aid. I will tell you how you can avail it for free at the end of this video. So you just need to complete till the week 5 of this course. And there are certain other algorithms like decision trees, ansible algorithms like random forest, cat boost, xg boost, etc. These are not covered in this particular course, but you can always use them in your project directly from their libraries. We will discuss more further. If you have sufficient time, you can complete the whole course and do all the assignments in this course. And if you are interested to explore the mathematics behind ML, you can explore through this particular book. For the programming related to machine learning, it is recommended to use Python because it is one of the easiest languages to learn and it has a vast amount of libraries as well as frameworks for machine learning. Also, if you know any other language, you can easily shift to Python in just 2-3 to three hours. If you are not familiar with Python, you can learn through this free course by Mosh. You can feel free to skip the projects part in this course and at least complete up to the PyPy and Pip part. For editing your code, it is preferred to use Google Collaboratory because it has lot many libraries and packages already installed. So it saves lot of your internet usage and also whenever you want to learn any machine learning algorithm on Google Collab, it provides you GPU to run your code fast. Even if you are working in a team project, you can collaborate through Google Collab very easily. For learning about how to use Google Collab etc, you can refer to this blog. Now, there are certain libraries that you must know for any machine learning project, which are NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib. For learning how to use these libraries, you can refer to these tutorials. If you want to build your project based on some tabular data where each of the row is a data point and each of the columns is an attribute of the data point. Like you can see that these four rows or these five rows are the details of five passengers and these columns just tell the attributes of those passengers like passenger id survived or not p class name etc for a classification problem one of these columns will be your target variable which you want to predict the steps involved in building such kind of project is firstly you need to do exploratory data analysis which involves analyzing those features and visualizing them and then you will find relations between those features or trends between those features Actually, this is not a compulsory part, but generally it is preferred to do this. For visualizations, you can refer to this article. You don't need to memorize the whole code. Just see how you can use it and you can always refer to this article again. The second step is to do feature engineering and data cleaning, which is to handle missing data. Suppose if certain values in this table were missing, what would you do in that case? So the steps taken to handle missing data are involved in this part. and if there are certain features which are useless, you can remove those features. And sometimes you can create more features or more columns using combinations of some pre-existing columns. You can refer to this block for feature engineering and data cleaning. Once you are done with the pre-processing parts, now it's time to train your model and test it. For this, you can run different ML algorithms on your data and try to see which gets you the highest accuracy. You can also ensemble the results of various models. You can also apply techniques like cross-validation. For training and testing your model, it can be done in just two to three lines of code using the libraries like sklearn. You can refer to this blog for knowing how to use these libraries to build up your model. Some projects you can build based on these tabular data are like Titanic data analysis on Kaggle and EDA to prediction for Titanic. So these are some detailed example given to you here. Once you have a good idea, you can go to Kaggle, search for a tabular data set and apply these techniques to build up your project. If you are interested in building image related project or let us say projects based on deep learning, you need to do this course on Coursera, neural networks and deep learning. And also you need to do till week two of this convolutional neural networks course. 
again these courses are also paid but you can get them for free using financial aid i will tell you how at the end once you are comfortable with the theory part of how to run your machine learning model on images you need to learn any of these deep learning frameworks if you are a beginner you should prefer learning keras you can refer to these blogs and for the pre trained models provided in keras you can go to this link now pytorch is a framework which is much flexible and allows you to do different kinds of experiment in your project so if you have sufficient time you can go to learn pytorch using these three blogs and you can refer to the pre trained models in pytorch using this link coming to fast ai fast ai is a very high level framework which can do a lot of stuff in just 4 to 5 lines but again if you are a beginner i would say prefer keras over fast ai for learning fast ai you can refer to these blogs once your model is trained and tested you may want to deploy it on the internet for this if you or your friend knows some basic web development like html and css you can integrate your machine learning model in the backend using flask or fast api for that you can refer to this flask tutorial and this blog on how to integrate a machine learning model into your flask server or you may also use a python library like streamlit to build a web app in just a few lines of python code itself for that you can refer to this blog you can also make a web app directly from the google colab but with limited features for free you can have a look at this link to know more once your project is built you may want to upload it on github to mention the link of your project in your resume for that you should organize your code in proper classes and then upload it to github with a proper readme file indicating how to run your code locally as well as some description about your project if you are not familiar with github you can always refer to this blog for learning how to add your project to github now let me show you how you can avail a paid course for free on coursera so here you can see that whenever you go to a course you will see this financial aid available option so you can click on that and just click on continue to the application and then it will open a form for you so you can tick out these boxes and then just copy this text and paste it here then continue now here it will ask you two questions and they have 150 words minimum required so you can fill it up and just submit it to get the financial aid so now you might be asking how to fill it up basically just say that you are a student and you don't earn anything your financial income is zero etc once you submit this form you will easily get the financial aid after 15 days if you want to do a task but don't know how to do that feel free to google or stack overflow for that like let us say you want to use kaggle dataset in your google colab so just you can search for it and you will get many ways to do that for using a particular method of a library you can always refer to its documentation and whenever you are writing a large piece of code for performing some task always first google that task and just see if there is a pre existing function for that in python it is very high chance that you will find it like let us say you want to convert a file from jpg to png for that there are pre built functions in some of the python libraries i hope you found this road map useful if you have any suggestions you can comment down below and if you have not subscribed this channel yet do subscribe it thank you